Welcome to our lesson about using the belt chain tool. In my graphic area, I've got five wheels that move independently of one another. Let's activate the belt chain tool. First thing to do is select the pulley component. I'm going to select these circular faces and keep attention to the order in which you make your selections. If you need to reverse the direction, just click the arrow in the graphic area. You can also select and move the pulley up and down. Here we can enter the diameter of the pulley. If you want to reset to the original diameter, just enter zero and press the tab key. Flip belt side, this icon will reverse the direction just as we saw a moment ago when we clicked on the arrows in the graphic interface. We can also specify the belt location plane. I'm going to delete it for now. The belt length is seen here grayed out approximately 880 millimeters. If you want to create your own length, you can check driving and then specify the length manually. Now keep in mind that in order to do so, at least one pulley needs a degree of freedom to accommodate the length of the belt. We're also able to specify the belt thickness. Let's say 3 millimeters. Tap. Engage belt. This checkbox is an option to let you add mates between all components. If you leave this option unchecked, SolidWorks will create a belt sketch, but the pulley won't be engaged. One more option here under Properties. Create belt part. Let's check this box and then click OK just to see how it works. OK. Now if I rotate one of the pulleys, the rest of the components rotate as well. Let's go back to our design tree and expand the mates folder. I see the belt mates right here, belt mates 1. We can also see that a new component has been added here. We're able to right click and edit it. And for example, we can add a sweep feature if we like. For now, let's just go ahead and exit. And let's go back to the belt chain feature to make a modification. We simply right click on it in the feature manager tree and select edit. Let's uncheck engage belt. And let's click OK. Now if I rotate one wheel, the other wheels aren't engaged. And this concludes our lesson about the belt chain tool.